Hello everyone, my name is Mehek. I hope you guys are doing fine and I hope you guys are safe. Uh, welcome back. Back with another interesting and a very different read this week. In fact, you know, I have not read something like this in a, in a while. And uh, I have to be honest that this book was really heavy. And, um, you know, if topics like um, rebirth, dying, death, um, karma and um, you know in general how to lead your life uh, you know uh, doesn't interest you then you might want to skip through this but but the book has some great uh, you know insights it's deeply rooted into tibetan tradition and uh, you know teachings that come from the school of buddhism so there are teachings related to um, how do you generally uh, lead a spiritual path, the trials and rewards on being a spiritual path. Uh, you know, it talks about karma in general, about having love and compassion towards a person who is dying. It talks about uh, the meditation, which is again a very interesting chapter. So it has these, uh, you know, few chapters and great insights, uh, which I would uh, urge you all to have a look at. And it was really interesting for me. Coming to the book. The book is called The Tibetan Book of Living and Dying. It is by Sogya Rinpoche. I hope that's the correct pronunciation, but that's how the book looks. It's a paperback. It's a spiritual classic from one of the foremost interpretators of Tibetan Buddhism to the West. He's uh, apparently a very uh, famous person. He's also considered as a you know reincarnation of uh, the Lai Lama's teacher. Now, talking about the book, the book is basically about, uh, you know, author Sogya Rinpoke's his encounters with some of the famous, uh, you know, uh, teachers and mentors in the Buddhism religion, his encounters with them and the teachings that he picked up from them, you know, he has shared that with us, the teachings uh, that are, like I said, deeply rooted in the, uh, uh, that comes from the school of Buddhism and deeply rooted in the Tibetan tradition and which are relevant to the modern world. Those teachings are something that he is, uh, you know, sharing with us in the book. Uh, if I have to talk, you know, if I have to basically summarize the book in three points, it uh, the book is basically about how to, uh, you know, have a, a lead a meaningful life and how to accept death, which is um, the major, I would say, uh, the point that the author really stresses on that each one of us is go going to die. So it's important that we accept death and how, uh, you know, a person who is dying, um, he can, you know, peacefully die and how do people, you know, around him or her can behave. So the, uh, depending on that, uh, now the book is distributed into three parts. The first part talks about the living. The second part talks about uh, dying. And the third part is uh, basically about the death and the rebirth. Now, um, coming to the first part, which is uh, the part uh, called the living. Now, uh, it is also my uh, one of my favorite parts because you could relate to so many things, you know, it uh, the basic uh, takeaway from the living chapter is how one should, um, you know, have compassion, lead a life which is filled with compassion towards people. Uh, you know, uh, it tells you that you need to be at all instances kind to uh, everyone around you have uh, be a person who is known for his good heart and basically the living chapter says you know that the sooner we realize that everyone around us is dying you know or everything around us is going to collapse one day uh, we will automatically start uh, you know showing compassion to people and being nice to them you know for example I would like to uh, you know um, share an example here like I lost my grandparents pretty early, you know, and now, you know, when my sister got married or there's so many achievements in our life, we really miss their, uh, you know, presence in our life. But, you know, did I realize that when they were alive? No. So I think that's what the author is saying that, you know, the sooner you realize that, you know, people around you are going to die one day and things are going to vanish or things are going to collapse, you start automatically show, start showing compassion towards the things around you, towards the people. So that is the, uh, what the author is saying. And like I said, he's again, again, stressing in this chapter about being kind and having compassion and being a person with a good heart. Another important thing that he has uh, discussed in detail in this living chapter is about meditation. Now, uh, some great insights, you know, about meditation, like he has discussed the techniques 
that one can meditate and what is meditation you know meditation is basically like bringing your mind to home it 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 brings stability in your life it brings confidence in your life like i can say this from my personal experience that i'm into buddhist uh, chanting you know and whenever i sit to meditate or chant and i do the uh, 40 minutes in a day you know 20 minutes in the morning and 20 minutes in the night and i can for sure uh, say you know that at the end of the day i am a much more calm and peaceful person and that's what the author says you know it it also brings a sense of stability so meditation is something that you should really try he's also shared the techniques you know the postures that one, uh, one must use and the techniques like for example he says that in buddhism there are some 80000 recognized meditation uh, techniques you know but the three most important or the most widely and helpful used techniques are a uh, when we meditate focusing on an object it could be a stone it could be an idol it could be uh, for example you're looking at a candle flame that is one technique the second technique which is something that i use is uh, when you chant or when you say out a mantra or a shloka or anything you know that you say is uh, the second technique and the third is when you concentrate on your breath when is when we do is breathe in and breathe out so uh, these are the three most important techniques and uh, this very interesting thing you know that he says uh, which i think we all must read and uh, you know put in our minds and just tell everyone that we meet that you know there's a common silly notion in fact that people say that when you meditate you're not supposed to get any thoughts which is actually very silly because you know he says that your mind is like an ocean you know the waves are going to come and go and your your thoughts are exactly like that they they waves you know so just saying that you know i have a mind and you know i'm not going to get thoughts that's not you know that's silly so your thoughts are going to come but what you have to do is when you're sitting and meditate is that you don't have to act upon that thought for example now when i'm sitting and meditating you know i might get a thought about the presentation or the task that is due tomorrow at my workplace but then you know okay let that thought come in and let that go back you know like a wave but then you know immediately thinking about that task or you know what i have to do or taking stress and thinking about other 10 things related to that task that is something that the author is telling us to avoid so let the thoughts come in your mind and go away just don't act upon it when you're meditating that is something that comes obviously after practice but that was something that i uh, you know really enjoyed reading about um so yeah that was the living chapter now um the next chapter which is about dying is basically you know you show uh, compassion and love and understanding to a, a person who is dying so when you're surrounded by someone who's um, you know dying whether it could be a friend relative or anyone else it's very important that you know you show compassion and understanding towards them it's very important that you forgive them it's very important that you know you tell them about things that they have done well in their life and you give them hope and because the author says you know when the person is dying it is very important that he dies with positive uh, you know uh, thoughts and positive mindset because the last thought that the person has before dying has a great impact on the next life that he's going to have so we as people if you're surrounded by someone who is dying it's our responsibility and our you know uh, thing that we should ensure that that person has positive thoughts when he's dying he or she is dying because that really plays a ro- huge role in the next life that he or she is going to have so that is uh, the chapter of dying the last chapter which is on death and uh, rebirth basically talks about you know uh, that was the most complex chapter for me uh, you know and it's really hard uh, but uh, that chapter talks about you know when one is dying they, you get certain he's listed out certain senses and certain visions that one develops that basically determine what your next birth is going to be you know so depending on what visions are you getting you know how are your senses and what taste and everything it determines what your next life is going to be he has the author has also combined some real life experiences of people you know who have had uh, uh, almost near death experiences and people who have reincarnated and they remember everything about their previous life as uh, you know minuscule as uh, you know the the address where they used to uh, stay so you know he has compiled all those real life uh, experiences as well so yeah pretty much uh, you know the book is all about this uh, the author says you know my aim to write this book is that you know i want uh, people to basically to live and die in peace that is what he says you know that uh, it is it is important that we accept death and we be kind and show compassion to someone who is dying and uh, also to uh, you know to live our life in a more meaningful 
way you know not just make it into a 9 to 5 existence and you know heavily focused on our job but also have a deeper meaning to life that is what the author is saying um yeah that's what the book is all about just um reading as always things that i really like from the book um this quote goes as death is a mirror in which the entire meaning of life is reflected you know when we when someone you know we hear our close one dies you know suddenly the life starts making sense all of the sudden you know so he says that death is a mirror in which the entire meaning of life is reflected another thing you know which he says that what is born will die what has been gathered will be dispersed what has been accumulated will be exhausted what has been built will collapse and what has been high will be brought low and that is why it is important that you constantly show compassion to things and people around you the next thing you know which is my favorite story you know which says that master how do you put enlightenment into action how do you practice it into daily life by eating and sleeping said the master but master everybody sleeps and everybody eats but not everybody eats when they eat and not everybody sleeps when they sleep from this comes the famous zen saying when i eat i eat when i sleep i sleep that means cherish be in the present and cherish your present moment don't think about the past or the future has to be my most favorite thing about this book um another great saying greatest achievements take the deepest patience and the longest time so have patience all the time the last thing some day after we have mastered the winds the waves the tides and gravity we shall harness the energies of love then for the second time in the history of the world man will have discovered fire beautiful saying so yeah that is what the book is all about definitely not an easy read you know uh, some of the words were really hard and it took me a while you know you might want to come back again and again and read this book but i would honestly recommend if you know someone you know in your circle and you know someone they have someone who is dying you know people around them this book could be really helpful at, as it has no doubt it is deep and philosophical and really hard to understand at times but like i said some great insights to be picked up and uh, imbibed into your daily life for it, for example it really taught me that nothing around me is permanent and you know it definitely taught me and gave me tips how i can behave how my actions and words can be if i'm surrounded by someone who is dying So yeah I hope genuinely that each one of us can show compassion and be kind in our daily life. Thank you so much for joining me. If you have stayed this long in this video, thank you so much. It means a lot to me like I always say. I'm going to see you next week with another book. Till then take care and loads of love. Thank you.